Hello, my dear students. Your next homework was <clears throat> doing activities on page 100, 101, and 102. So let me give you the answers so that you can check your uh, performance for answering the questions or doing the exercise or filling the blanks, whatever. Let's start with the first page. And it's the, it's the easiest one. Look and label the electronics and appliances. Zek, load the dishwasher, I guess. Yes, that's a dishwasher. Make your bed and clean the microwave. It's a microwave. <clears throat> and reward is going to be play on games console for half an hour. Yes. Very good reward for you and Zach. <clears throat> and Julie's chores are these. Put the clothes in the dish, no, washing machine. Yes, clean your room and iron school shirts with an iron. And your reward is going to be that. Use the tablet for half an hour. Thank you. And the next one is mom's chores. <clears throat> Pay electricity bill, go to the supermarket, put food away in the fridge or refrigerator. And reward is sleeping late on Sunday. Wonderful. And the last one is dad's chores. Chores mean daily works, houseworks. Change the light bulb that won't light up. Yeah. Mow the grass and pay pay cell phone bill, I guess. Yes. And your reward is, is going to be that. Be in charge of the remote for family TV night. Thank you. And we have done this part. Let's go to the next page, which is about present passive. Remember, and let's read. We use the passive when we don't know who or what does something or when it is not important. But the present passive, we use a present simple form of be and past participle. For many verbs, the past participle is the same as, as the past simple. For some verbs, the past participle is different. We use by when we say a person or a thing. Affirmative, so that means positive sentence. Virtual reality headsets are warm. We use, we need a past participle verb here, and it's that. On the head. Negative one is like that. This cell phone is, is isn't unlocked. Sorry, isn't unlocked by a fingerprint. We're going to talk about by, don't worry about that. But it means, no, it shows what or how you, no, what or how the verb is done in the sentence. By who, by what. Interrogative sentence means question sentence. So we should start with is your car, powered by gas or electricity, electricity. We're going to talk about by, don't worry about it. The next one is going to be infinitive of purpose. I told you the infinitive of purpose to and base verb, base verb mean verb one, says what something is for, what is its purpose, what is its goal. In passive sentences, the infinitive of purpose can come after the main verb. So my dad, my dad uses an iron to get the wrinkles out of his shirt. Yes, and the game's console is designed to entertain the whole family. These are the right answers. I hope you're doing good. Now we're going to unscramble sentences. These tablets aren't used to play video games. That's the right order. We're going to put in the correct order. Electricity is used to light our homes and schools. 
That's the right order too. And the last one is about a dishwasher. A dishwasher isn't designed to wash clothes. clothes. Dishwasher is designed to wash dishes, plates, forks, spoons, glasses. And we're done with this one too. Last part is going to be page 102 and the first activity. The exercise wants us to rewrite the sentences in the present passive. This is just present simple, so present active. We're going to change the sentence into present passive. So this device is used to send text messages. That's how we make present passive sentences. We use this device to turn on the TV from far away. Okay, this device is used to turn on the TV from far away. This is how we make it in passive. Exercise three, engineers design these devices for hours of fun. So these devices are designed for hours of fun. Number four, you hit leftovers quickly in this appliance. This appliance, oh, this is, this is a hard one. It's used to heat leftovers quickly, you can say. Ah, all right. Leftovers are quickly, no, leftovers are heated <coughs> quickly in this appliance. Yes, this is a right way too. But you, you can say it's used it's used to heat leftovers. It will, it will mean in the same way, but yeah, the perfect answer would be this. And next, this device is used to send text messages. Of course, that's about cell phone. This device is used to turn on TV from far away. What's it? It's remote control. These devices are designed for hours of fun. When we call fun, we recall games console. Leftovers are heated quickly in this appliance means microwave. Thank you for following me. We're going on with the next, with the last part. We'll, let's see, read and write the appliances the first part, and complete the ads with present passive. Will new long glow technology replace the light bulb? And will the amazing steam closet replace the iron? These are the answers because this is about ironing and clothes. See, uh, he, he puts the clothes into wardrobe. And this is about light. It's easy to guess. <clears throat> now we're going to make present passive sentences. Long glow is designed to replace regular and LED lights. Chemicals that glow on their own are added to clothing and even bowls and spoons. It's made to last for 60 years. Wow, that's a really good invention would be a good invention. Next ad is about iron and it starts like that. Never press a shirt again. In the steam closet, the clothes are hang, are hung, let's say. Yes, the clothes are hung on a rail. Steam are pumped into the cabinet and shirts are made smooth in less than 10 minutes. Buy it today. Oh, <clears throat> it's an interesting one, but I don't know if it's functional or not. Whatever, we have just finished our video about your last homework. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you, students. See you in the next video. Bye. Mm, I couldn't stop it. Now I can stop. <laughs> Bye.